Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share a thought the Lord, I believe the Lord gave me earlier. And this is what I got from him. Some of you are trying to pass and get an A. You're trying to get a very high grade. But it seems like all you get from people, excuse me, are D's and F's. But you have to ask God for your grade. Because what people see as a D or an F or a not good enough or you fall too short or you're not the one, baby, I'm sorry. You may be willing, but you're not the one. We want this. God may have given you that desire to help in certain areas where people don't welcome your gift. He may have given you an A+. Not because you're so perfect or you're so gifted, but because your spirit is so pure. And God can work through a pure heart much quicker than he can work through a trained skill. So when the Bible says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. When the Bible says, your strength is made perfect. God's strength is made perfect in your weakness. When the Bible talks about how he will give you beauty for ashes, when the Bible talks about his anointing bringing you way above your own ability because it's a gift of the Holy Ghost, not a gift that man trained you in, you will find you're able to do much more. You're able to be much more productive much more effective in the kingdom of God and the things of God with the people of God, with their lives, with their issues, with their ability to develop, grow, and progress. Why? The way maker, the one who makes a way where there is no way. We have to remember to trust and lean on God. We have to depend on God. Because, see, when you depend on man, when you go to man to, to measure you up or measure you down, what you walk away with is discouragement or a false sense of pride. Man may approve of you. God may not. God may be saying, not now. You're not ready. You have pride issues. I want to deal with that. He's not writing you off. He's going to use you. But just not now. He wants to mature you and season you. Now, on the other hand, those of you who God is more than eager to use, the sad part is many times in churches, church people, pastors, leaders, will hold you back because they have other people in mind. People who know how to dress. People who know how to present themselves. People who know how to represent. And to them, it's going to make their church look good. It's going to make their leadership look polished. It's going to make the pastor shine. But God judges the heart while man is judging the outward appearance. So don't lose heart because man does not give you the very good, the thumbs up. If man gives you a thumbs down, if man sits you off in the corner and says, don't call us, we'll call you. You go to God. You ask him what he wants you to do, where he wants you to do it. But don't move ahead of God. Sometimes we do that as well. God will give you your answers. God will lead you and guide you into all 
true. Read Psalms 32 when you get a chance. He says in one of those verses, I will lead you in the way where you should go. Just don't be like a mule. <laughs> don't be stubborn, as Pat's two sins. Don't be stubborn. Just do what I tell you when I tell you to do it and wait until I tell you to do it. But don't put all of your emphasis, don't put all of your value, don't put all of your trust in man's opinion of you because you will suffer major league discouragement. I promise you that. Only God's grade is what you need to aim for. If man gives you a C and God gives you an A, run with that A, baby. That man's C doesn't count for anything. If man gives you a D minus and God gives you a B plus, run with the B plus and strive to improve from there. But don't let man's D minus deter you from pressing toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of God. Keep pressing, baby. Ignore the naysayers and keep pressing. You hear me? God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think according to the power that works in you. Be encouraged. Keep pressing on. Don't give up.